So now we'll use the properties of linear transformations to compute the output uh, for a given vector. So here we're saying suppose T is a transformation from Rn to R2. So we're not specifying um, the exact domain, just it's a column vector with any number of entries. Uh, we are specifying that the output is a vector in R2 and that this is a linear transformation. Also, we want to suppose that U and V are vectors in Rn, in the domain, such that T of U gives us this output vector. So U is just some vector in the domain that gives us 2, 3 as the output vector. And V is some vector in the domain that gives us negative 1, 4 as its output. We want to then find T of this vector, 3U minus 5V. And the whole idea here is to use properties of linear transformations. So T of 3u minus 5v, we would like to express this in terms of T of u and T of v, because that those vectors we know. So what we can do, if we've got a difference here, 3u minus uh, 5v, thanks to properties of uh, linear transformations, we can split this up. T of 3u minus T of 5v. And then we can pull out scalars. So this is equal to 3 times T of u, pull out the 5, or the negative 5. If I, I could have written plus and then a negative 5 here, we pull out negative 5. Either way you want to think about it, we end up in the same place here, T of v. And now we can use that given information. Okay, T of u, I know that vector, that's 2, 3. So T of u right here, that's equal to 2, 3. And T of v, that's negative 1, 4. So the T of v right here, that's equal to negative 1, 4. keep this consistent. I'll draw a little arrow there. Okay. Um, so this is equal to 3 times this vector, there's your t of u, minus 5 times this vector, there's your t of v. And now we just perform the vector operations, which is pretty simple. So just multiply each part here times 3, so this is 6, 9. I'm going to leave the negative here. You could distribute the negative, then you would want to change this to a plus right here, or, um, or not. I'm going to leave it out. So this is 5 times negative 1. Just be careful with the negatives here. So I'm distributing just the 5. So I'm going to put negative 5, 20 here. And then subtract the corresponding entries. So this is equal to 6 minus negative 5 here. And 9 minus 20. So this is 6 plus 5, 11. 9 minus 20, negative 11. And that's it.